heard the term the sandwich generation being tossed around, but do you know exactly what that means and how it could impact you? Here to answer those questions and more is Dave Beck, a partner at Egan Burger and Weiner LLC. He's going to tell us exactly how Egan Burger and Weiner can help us all prepare for what lies ahead, not only with ourselves, but with our parents, and that means aging. Yeah, it does. You know, the sandwich generation is um, more like people in, you know, my age bracket who have kids who have gotten out of college or in, in that age group and are still living at home or have boomeranged back into your house. And then as your parents age, you are now taking care of them um, and their issues and, you know, the the litany of things that you have to do right. um, with your parents is So it's not so much like the boomers or Gen X. This, these are people who are dealing with being in between the young folks and their parents. Exactly. So what kind of planning exactly does this entail? Well, for the parents, it's, it's endless planning. Um, it's, <laughs> it, it truly is. It's about communication is the number one thing. It's about what do I want um, for my parents? What do my parents want? For my parents, um, you know, you would think being that I've been doing this for 30 years, I would be well prepared. And when my parents aged and some things came up recently, I can't found out how ill prepared I actually was and the mm. things that I should have known that I had no no knowledge of. So being an expert in something and then putting into practice are two very different things. And what I love about when you guys from Egan Burger and Weiner come in is that you, you not only have that expertise, sort of like the scientific side of it, but you also have personal experiences that you bring into your advice. So what steps would you recommend people go through? Communication sounds like the most important yeah, part. Yeah. By far, you want to have a, an honest conversation with your parents and ask them, what is it that you want? Um, what is, you know, it can go from healthcare and medical directives that talk about end of life decisions. Um, it could be, when do you want to move? How do you want to move? But you have to have these conversations early. Right. When they're still, you know, of full mind and body. And not when you're under that pressure, that time. Exactly. Is it good, because this is the sandwich generation we're talking about, is it good to involve your kids in this conversation, have the whole family talking about it? I think it? It, it's important to involve certainly all of your brothers and sisters oh, in the conversation. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, and as you go through it, you start making mental notes for yourself as to say, you know what, I'm not going to make this same mistake Right. Um, for my children, and I'm going to do things differently. And I will tell them, and I have talked to my children about some of the things. Excellent. So what about issues when we're talking about preparing for for the later ages, the, the golden years? Yeah, it's, a, it's really, really hard. Yeah. If, you're the, if you're the child and you're now coming to your parent, and it could be ranging from, you know, mom and dad, you shouldn't drive. You should move out of the house. It's too big. You can't keep it up. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, that ongoing battle, and there's family dynamics involved here where, you know, you're the child, but yet you're telling them what to do, kind of. Mm -hmm. um, there's resentment that builds up. Right. And if these things aren't addressed in the, the right way, right. Um, and unfortunately, I probably am not the best person of how to deal with this. My wife should have dealt with it much more, <laughs> much more compassionate than Use I am. Use the whole family structure and everybody's skill sets yes. to help you through. Yes. Um, empathy was not my strong suit. <laughs> it, was, it was more logic. Excellent. We need to do this. And there was no discussion as to why or how, and it didn't go well with my parents. So what if you plan poorly or you don't plan at all? What would you expect to see? Um, you're going to be in for some interesting um, times. Mm -hmm. You're going to be, you know, if your parents get sick and you don't have a health care power of attorney, you're going to be going petitioning the courts. Right. And, you know, that costs about four to $5,000 to petition the court for guardianship for your parents. If you don't have a, a power of attorney, you don't know where their accounts are. Um, you're going to be petitioning the courts again for conservatorship. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to need to see a lawyer because, you know, I would love to say that the insurance guy is the most important person <laughs> in all of this, but that's far from the truth. Um, really, the lawyer and the communication between yourself, your parent, and the lawyer is by far the most important thing here. Is it here. proper to involve the lawyer in these conversations as uh, maybe like a mediator or even? It, it could be. Uh -huh. if, if things are starting to get a little contentious, sure. 
um, then you would say, you know what, let's go meet with the attorney, and then you have a, a disinterested third party, and they're sort of that's going to take away some of the, fi the family dynamics and the pressures there. It's never too early to talk about this? No, I don't think so. I mean, I'm um, reluctantly, I'll admit I'm 50, and <laughs> you know, I've started really talking in earnest with my wife and um, kind of about my children and mm -hmm. with my children about what is it that we want? Right. Um, where, where do we want to be? Um, and things that they could sort of expect from us because, you know, they, they know the frustration and things that I have gone through. Great. Now, you have a great event coming up on September 11th uh, that sort of fits into this. Uh, it goes to uh, a very good cause. Tell me more. Yeah. Um, one of my partners, Brian Beatty, has, um, this is the third annual, I believe, um, Alzheimer's Association Golf Charity Tournament out in uh, Reston National Golf Course. Um, it's a great event, great cause. We have it's a good time. Lots of sponsors, fun, drinks, the whole nine yards. So if you want to golf or what have you, please contact us. We'd love to have more golfers. Thank you so much, Dave Beck, for telling us from your own personal experience the best ways of handling the sandwich generation, handling yourself. All right. Thank you, Sonia. More Let's Talk Lives coming up. Stick with us right here.